from the fighting fifth, the fifth district of Arizona, Congressman Andy Biggs. Did you have fun with my old boss, the president, when he visited Arizona? Oh, yeah, it was uh, it was quick, though. I mean, he was here and he was gone. And uh, he, he you know, moves but, at the speed of Trump. You got to keep up with him. Absolutely. I mean, and, and I'll tell you what, uh, the people there, very gracious, happy to see him. Um, and I actually spent more time waiting for him because I didn't take the, the Air Force One. I, I sat there with uh, uh, a lot of socially distanced friends uh, and constituents talking about their small businesses and how they need to get them open again. But President Trump was, he was, as always, he was hitting on all cylinders. He was great. So tell us uh, first, we have to talk about all kinds of big issues, the Flynn case, corruption on, on Capitol Hill and in, in the FBI and elsewhere. Tell us about how Arizona, how your district and the state is faring in the, the aftermath or the slow coming out of the coronavirus emergency. Well, we're like everybody, every place else. Uh, we we could have and probably should have opened uh, quite some time ago, but people are anxious to get back to work. There's a tremendous energy in the state. Um, very excited to get back to work. Uh, but you know what? A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of small businesses can't get open yet, and uh, they can't wait to get open. And we and we have to do it. You know, the good news, Sebastian, is the is the the construction industry, the house building industry, because they sold so many houses in March, the highest in the history of the state. Wow. And guess what? They, they, so that's booked them for four or five months out, but they're having a tough time selling houses since uh, we hit the wall 1st of April. Uh, well, that's, that's a very, very, very uh, important piece of information. We're very excited to hear that. Um, Let's talk about the first things first. Follow this man, Rep Andy Biggs A Z on Twitter, Arizona's fighting fifth district. Uh, incredible news today. It looks as if the Department of Justice will be dropping the criminal case against Trump advisor Mike Flynn. That's hot off the presses. That was reported as uh, we were preparing for the show today. Uh, this isn't enough. If 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 General Flynn is acquitted, it's not enough. What would you like to see happen in terms of everything we've learned, not just in the last 10 days under the Flynn case, but the last three and a half years, Congressman Biggs? Well, first of all, you've been a leader on this and, and really gone to bat, done a lot of reporting, investigating on this. And, and I will tell you that uh, I, I'm not satisfied that, that after everything he's gone, gone through, that Sidney Powell gets uh, the case uh, dumped, the DOJ comes late to the party, they're going to withdraw it, but uh, withdraw his uh, uh, criminal conviction. But, but the bottom line is this the people at the top of that food chain at the FBI and DOJ working not to see if there was criminal uh, activity, not responding to that, but they made this guy's uh, life a living hell, and they did it for political purposes. To me, uh, that warrants more than just investigation. That warrants uh, some kind of uh, criminal charges being brought against these people. I think they cr acted criminally. Uh, they certainly abused their power. And, uh, you know, it's not enough. It is not enough that that uh, General Flynn is going to go uh, without further prosecution. His reputation has taken a beating. He lost a great job. He would have been a great uh, leader in, in the intelligence community for President Trump. It was done for political purposes, Sebastian. What, what kind of a constitutional republic do we have if that's what your police apparatus is capable of doing? And now it sounds, I don't know if you can confirm this, but because of actions taken by the uh, Office of the Director of National Intelligence in DC, classifying hundreds and hundreds of pages of the behind closed door sessions of the intelligence committee run by Adam Schiff. It sounds like the chairman of that committee is running scared. It sounds as if he has a lot to hide, Congressman Biggs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and he, he does. I mean, he was, he was pitching a lot of bad uh, bad advice and information to the country, and he was also in cahoots with these guys. This is what we've got to find out. It's got to, you know, and I'm glad it's finally coming out. But you know what? Some of us have been asking for this for years now, and uh, the FBI and the Department of Justice has really 
uh, slowed everything down, slow walked everything. Something like 500 pages per month is the average. And we're talking that that's going to take another couple of years to get it out at that pace. We've got to get all the information out. And when we do, we'll find that, there, that uh, Adam Schiff is smelly. Uh, all the way up to, uh, you know, your nose. I mean, it's just from your feet to your nose uh, what he's done. In the last 50 seconds we have with you, Congressman Biggs, can you even work with this party anymore? It just seems like obstruction, obstruction, obstruction and lies. Can the GOP, can you work with the Democrat Party on Capitol Hill? There are some issues that we can. An example would be the FISA reform that has got to take place. Um, and, and believe it or not, you've got a cadre that's totally bipartisan that wants uh, that FISA uh, abuse to end and wants to do something about it. The question is, uh, I, I think I will personally want to do more than even my Democrat colleagues do and many of my Republicans, but, but that's an issue that we can work together on. And that's, you know, sometimes you have to look long and hard to find it, but that was sitting right there. It's ripe for the taking. But we've had to fight Schiff, Pelosi, and even Jerry Nadler on that because they don't really want those reforms no, there. No, they don't. But we know as long as we have people like Andy Biggs on Capitol Hill, we've got a shot at clawing back the republic. Follow him right now, Rep. Andy Biggs AZ, one of the few people who actually has his state in his Twitter handle. That's how much he loves his job. God bless you, Congressman. Keep doing what you do.